Which one we have to integrate first with respect to what? Y first? Yes, correct. So which you mean? Um, you can do like this. Okay. okay, so remember, integrate this with respect to y, we'll get what? 3? What do you get if you integrate 3x squared? 3x squared y. Yes, correct. So when you integrate with respect to y, this, this, everything will be constant. Because this is one function of x. This is x, y squared over 2, 2, 2 cancel. Um, remember, this is for y. To so some of the book, they will like, like this. Uh, they don't want to confuse because we have two variable, right? So from y negative one to one, you can write like this, so that you will not confuse. Okay. But actually, you can skip the step. So when y equals to one, we split plus x. So when y equals to negative one, three x squared here will be negative. Uh, plus x. Okay. And what do you get here? 6x squared. So now you have to integrate 6x squared from 1 to 2. Okay. And x equals to 1, 2, x equals to 2. Okay. 6x squared dx. So here, this is what? 6x cubed over 3. Okay. From x equals to 1 to x equals to 3. So this is nothing but 2. 2 cubed minus 2. Sorry, 1. Okay. So this is 2 times 8 minus 1, 7. So you will get 14. Check. Okay, understand? Any question for this? No. Okay, so some of you, you can do directly, but make sure the your solution not so messy. You can directly do like this. Okay, but you have to carry this until N, until you substitute the limit. Okay, so I think you can do this, right? Okay. Um, first, you have to integrate 1 to 2, 1 plus x, y, 8, y. So, which means this is y plus 8, x, so y squared over 2, which is 4 here, from 1 to 2. So what do you get? 2 plus 4x, 2 squared, yes? 1 plus 4x, 1 squared. So what do you get? 2 plus, this is 2 squared, right? 4 times 4, 16x, minus 1 minus 4x. This is 1 plus 12x. Okay, then you have to integrate 0 to 3 dx. x plus 6x squared from 0 to 3. This is 3 plus 6 times 3 squared. 
which is plus 9 times 654 Check. You correct? Okay, so correct. So if you interchange, okay, if you inter interchange this now dx dy and you just interchange the integration, you keep the limit, you get the same. Why? Can you guess why? Why it is the same? What you can see about integration? Can anyone tell why if I change this, you get the same answer with the same function? Why? Because it's in rectangular region? Yes, correct. It is a rectangular region. If you can see here, okay, if you see here, I, I try to draw. It from here, your y is from 1 to 2. Your x is from 0 to 3. Well, here also same, right? Your x is from 0 to 3, your y is 1 to 2. So, which means I have a coordinate 0, 1, and then I have 0, 2. Then I have 3, 1, and then I have 3, 2. So if I draw this in the Cartesian plane, so what I will get is um, 0, 1, 0, 2. Say that 1, this 2, this is 0. This is x axis, and this is y axis. We have 3, 1. See here? We have 3, 2. So I have this. So it is a rectangle. So re rectangle region, you can change the integration directly without changing the limit. Okay. Good. Okay. So next will be. Okay, I don't want to do this. So if you do this, you will get the same answer. Okay. So this is just the same. They give the vertices. Which means your dx now, 0, 0, you have 0, 0, 3, 0, 3, 2, 0, 2. So your x is from 0 to 3, and then your y is from 0 to 2. So your integration now, you can use anything, dx to dy or dy dx is up to you, because it is easy to integrate. Okay, this is the same thing, but here for dx you have to put 0 to 3 and for dy you have to put 0 to 2. Can they give you vertices? Yeah, okay. okay, this is a direct question. They already give this region, but you have to see is it easy to integrate with dy first or easy to integrate dx first which one if you see this we already have the limit yeah dx and dy but you have to see is it easy to integrate with x first or y first which one which one is easy yes is it correct x if I have the integral respect to x, I have two variables here, which is hard. So you have to integrate with dy first, then dx. dy will be 0 to 1, 0 to 5, 0 to y. Because when I integrate this, with respect to y, I will get I just have to focus on this, right? Integrate cos will be sine x y over differentiate inside with respect to y. We'll get x. Yeah. And then I can just put x. x is a constant. Then I can cancel the x. 
Okay. Oh, I think I know. So maybe I will, I will do. See here. Yeah, Y first more important than X because it is easy. Okay. So, and then you can cancel the X. Then you can put from 0 to 1. Okay, then that answer, you can do the respect to X. So don't do X first, the X first. Because it will be more complicated. You have to, maybe you have to use by part. Okay, you cannot use the substitution also. Okay. Okay, done with rectangular. Now we move to non-rectangular because some region are non-rectangular. So even triangle is a not rectangle. Okay, don't confuse. So this for sure it is a curve, and this is so we can one curve and one straight line. So consider it's non-rectangular. For this, you have to use uh, Fubini's theorem, and then for type we have type one, type two, and also if we change the integration. The limit also change, not like before. Okay, okay. We rest for a while, two minutes, and then we continue this. Okay. Meanwhile, if you have any question, just ask. Okay, say what? Eh? Okay. Say one. Okay. Okay. Rectangle vertices. Zero, zero, three, zero, three, two, zero, two. Okay. Three, two. Three, two, zero. So which means your X is between zero to three. Your Y is zero to two. So left must be lower than the right hand side. So now you have to integrate double integral r to minus y dA. Remember your dA can be dx dy or dy dx. Well, for this case, it's easy whatever it is. You can start with dx dy or dy dx. Okay, it is easy because the function is not so complicated. So you can start, let's say I just put dy dx. So this R will change to limit here. Y, 0 to 2. X outside should be 0 to 2. You remember the inside one should be dy, the outside one dx. For this case, if dy dx, dx dy means you have to put limit for dx here and dy is here. If you change this, you have to change this limit, change this integration, but the limit is stay. Base. So here, if you integrate respect to y, you get 2y minus y squared over 2 from 0 to 2. Okay. And this is 0 to 3. So this is for y. Remember, you have to substitute in the y. So what do you get here? Um, 4 minus 2 squared is 4 for 2. Okay. This is 0 is nothing. So and then you have to integrate this with respect to x. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 2x. Two 2x two from 0 to 3. And then you have two times three six. Okay, understand. Okay. Is it six? I don't know. Then. Oh, this is a different question. Oh, no answer. Yes, example. Oh, they didn't give. The... Oh, six. Okay. Is it okay? Understand. Okay, so next will be non-rectangular region. It's a little bit harder than before. So here we have vertical strip and we have horizontal strip. Vertical strip from here to here, the limit. Horizontal strip from left to right. So this is the leftmost limit, rightmost limit. Bottom limit, upper limit. Okay, so the bottom limit should right here. And the right limit should right here. 
the left limit should write here, the right limit should write, should write here. Okay, for, for this case, if I put horizontal strip, the leftmost put here, rightmost put here. If I cut like this, the bottom limit should write here, and this limit should write here. So now the limit is not constant anymore, not necessarily be constant. Okay, and then for this, this can write here, right bottom. If I cut this, this you write here, and later I will show you. Okay, a plane region is said to be type one. Yes, type one. If it lies between the graphs of two continuous function f x, where your x is function of a b with x is from a to b this is constant and your y must be function of x which means when you integrate the y should be function of x so this is for the lower limit this is for upper limit either bottom this is either bottom or leftmost this is right of top rightmost or at the top you see the curve this is t to x so everything must be function of x or constant. So remember, for this, the outer most limit should be constant. So that's why right here AB. Okay, why type one? Because type one cut at x. Okay, I show you. Type two will cut at y. So your y from CD and your x is from h one. Y is to y. Okay, so let me go for all this. This is for last class only. Okay. So if you see here, type one. Integrating first with respect to y. Okay, type 1, remember, type 1, cut at x. This is x axis. Cut at x. Cut at x. Cut at x. So, which means you have to put x as a, I mean, your limit for x will be constant always. And from us, from x axis. But limit for y should be y is function of x. Let's say h1x, h2x. So depend on the function. From here, this is your g1x, this is your g2x. This is your g1x, g2x. This is g1x, g2x. Always cut vertical, vertical strip because type 1. Usually, question will not. And uh, ask you to use type 1 or type 2, they will just leave it to you. So you have to be um, wise to choose which one is easier to integrate first. Okay. X is fixed between A, B, Y varies from G1X to G2X. So if you have something Y equals to Y squared equals to X, you have to change this X equals to square root Y. Sorry, y equals to square root x. So you have to put this instead of this. Because if they want y equals something. Okay. Step two. Step two, vertical strip, which means you cut at y. So which means your y will be constant. I will be constant, which means you just put outside. Step two, put outside y. Cut at y. And then you have x. So your x should be function of y. I just put g, they, they use h, so nothing. Okay. H1y, h2y. H1y, h2y. The leftmost should be the lower limit, the rightmost should be upper limit. Horizontal strip. Y is fixed, x is varying from h1. Let's say you have y equals to x squared. 
So you want x equals to something, right? So your x will be square root 1. Okay? It will be example. So this is the same thing. I did told you if you have something like this, if the region is not rectangular, you have to use this. You can choose type 1 cut at x, x is outside. And the y must be function of x. Type 2 cut uh, with a horizontal strip, cut at y, the y must be outside. So this it is um, opposite. And then your your x inside here, x equal must be a function of y. Your y must be a function of x. So again, they're repeating the same thing, okay? Okay, see here. Before we see that in the rectangular region, we have a constant limit. So now we have a limit that is function of y, x, okay? So for this, they already give you, they give you directly. So let me try this. So they already you don't need to find the limit. So they already give. So integrate first x squared to x thirty one. So thirty five will be y squared over two, which is fifteen. So your y is from x squared to y plus two x. Okay. So y plus x will be x squared minus x squared squared will be x plus four. And this is fifteen. And then we have to integrate this with respect to x. And what we have? We have x cubed over 3 minus x5 over 5 from 0 to 1, 15. So here this is 15, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5, which is 15 times. This is 5 minus 3, is it? Over 15. So you have 2. Okay, check. So, two. so if I change this, I just change like this. Okay. X square x. Zero one and this is to be to be one. Okay, this is wrong. Okay. You cannot you, if you do this, you will not get the same answer. You cannot do this also. Okay, because you will end up with the function. So that's why, in this case, you have to sketch. If you want to change, you have to sketch. Or they didn't show you, right? So if we want to actually you want to change, we change, we call them converting, okay? We, we call them reversing order, sorry. If you want to do this, you have to sketch first. Let's say, here I have y equals to x squared, y equals to x, x equals to zero, x equals to one, okay? So y equals to x squared, y equals to x and then the bounded region will be here x0 is this x0 is here and x equals to 1 so when x0 y0 x1 1 so which is here okay so y equals to x1 y equals to x squared to 0 x equals to 1 so which is here okay so if you see here they ask you to find dy dx which means x is constant then um okay and then cut at x and do this so they start from here to here so the lower limit for so you can see your x is from 0 to 1. That's why you can put here. Your y is from here, which is, this is the y plus x squared. So that's why they put x squared here. Until here, the straight line is x that's why here like this actually uh, sometimes they didn't give this okay you have to draw by yourself so if you have this limit 
then you can that's why we do this okay so type one means tag vertical strip this is type two so for if i want to change like this the limit should be different okay see here if i cut like this i have to choose this and this it's hard to see see it's different color yeah i just cut here this here and here so the first line your x okay your x is from i have to change square root y because you need the first quadrant and the second one sorry the first one is x equals to y the second one x will be equal to square root y and your y will be from very zero to one see different then you can have the same answer okay so this is reversing order i will uh, touch on this later also okay okay if the limit is not ideal one you have to sketch the region remember for every for every chapter here you have to sketch if you if you sketch you will get an extra mark okay choose the order this is type one okay for integration make sure you know how to integrate tangent hyperbolic tangent and everything because you have learned this before okay this is for vertical strip so remember not always you have to draw vertical strip you see whether the function is easy to integrate or not okay, so if vertical strip means your y will function of x or if the strip means your x will be function of y. Okay. Or like this. This is vertical strip. Okay. Sorry, horizontal strip. Okay. 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 Any question until now? Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me go on this. Okay, evaluate this. Over, uh, R enclosed by line this. Y0. Let's draw. Y0 is here. Y2, 2, X is like this. X equals to 1, this. So for sure, this is the region. So y is to x or x equals to y over 3. So in your mind, you have these two things. Same thing, right? So you choose. You want to, this is easy to integrate. So you choose. Why do you want type 1 or type 2? Choose. Please choose. Type 2, okay. You want type 2 means vertical or horizontal strip? Type 2. Type 2 horizontal. Okay, horizontal. Okay, good. Horizontal, it is here. So when x equals to 1, y equals to 2. So you have to know the simultaneous equation, okay? When x equals to 1, this is 1, 2. Lah. So horizontal strip, you have to start from here to here. Okay, remember. When you cut at y, So your y is constant. Outermost integral should be constant. So 
your y limit is 0 to 2. Remember, not always 0, but in certain case, okay, for like something like this, 0 to 2. And then your x is from here to here, right? So the leftmost, your x is y over 2. Rightmost should be x equals to 1. And the function is x plus 1. So this is x squared over 2 plus x, y. Yes. Okay, macam ni. 0 to 2, faham? For limit y. Okay, yang x ni. Okay. okay. Kan dalam ni x kan? Right. This should be x equals to something. So x from this line is y over 2. Understand? x from this line, the leftmost should be the lower limit. I have to put something here, which is x equals to something. Cannot y equals to something because you already to choose type 2. Did they move x here horizontally from here to here? Either I cut here, also it's the same. Or I cut here. Understand or not? Yeah? Okay. So I think you can solve this. I don't want to solve this. Okay? The most important thing is the new to you is this. Others is just an for your practice. Okay, I think the answer is here. Okay. Okay, they use type 1. So, you will get the same answer. It is just the limit, not same. If, let's say, I choose type 1, eh? Type 1. So, type 1, which means I have to cut. Type 1, I, which, which strip I have to cut? Which strip? How I have to cut? Yes, cut at x. So, cut at x means x outside. Your x must be constant, that is... From here, 0 to what? 0 to what? 1. 0 to 1, correct. Cx, okay, Cx. And then y. Okay, this is function x plus y. So here, your y. Y is what move from here to here. So here y is 0. And here y is 2x. So I think it is easy to do type 1. Okay. 10. So you will get the same answer. Forward. This is type 2. So we'll get the same. Y over 2 until 1. Okay, correct. So the most important thing is you have to find the correct limit. It's actually the hint is here. Okay. But you have to sketch in order to get another limit for X. Okay. <coughs> okay. See here. Evaluate this and they give this y equals to x, y equals to 1, and y axis itself. So which means this is the region, not here. Don't sketch here because you have y1, y x, and y axis itself. Don't not this, which means x0 and x is y0. So if I use type 1 which means outside will be x and inside will be y. It is hard to integrate. You have to use by part. If I choose this, if I integrate, if I, if I use horizontal strip, which means I cut at y, dy inside with dx. So integrate this with dx, we'll get x e equal to y squared. So you have to wise to choose type 1 or type 2. 
if I use step one, can, why not? But it will be harder. We have to use the by part first. Okay, maybe other way. UV minus in, integrate V DU. Okay. If I start too easy, I can get X here. Yeah? And then that answer does I do. That's the limit should be correct. From here, you also type 2. Here is going to be um, type 2 cut at Y dy dx. So X is 0 to X equals to Y. Right? Yes. And then for horizontal strip, dy is from 0 to 1. Yeah. Okay. Like this, you have y. Actually, this is the answer, right? Actually, you can directly put to x plus something like this. What is it? You can put directly to x squared plus to one plus x squared, but you don't know the x, right? So that's why you have to sketch. So remember eight marks, which means you have to sketch. They didn't ask you to sketch, but you just sketch. Okay, for sure these two will be the uh, quadratic and one is plus one plus, which means it is above and to expect is at the origin. So if I should use type, type one, so you can, X, X is from negative one to one. So one to one, you have to use the simultaneous equation. Okay, then this is just a point and then this is 2x squared, 2, 1 plus x squared. This is easy, you know, for you use type 1. If type 2, I think it's hard, right? I think cannot. How you want to use type 2? What is the strict? Can, I think you have to split. If type 2 means you have to split this, 1 is from here to here, plus from here to here. So it will be more trouble. Okay? And then the limit should be like 1 to 0, 0 to 1. So that's why sketching is most important. If you didn't sketch, you don't, do not know the limit, one of the limit. Okay. Okay. First quadrant. Integrate the, uh, this over a region in the first quadrant. Okay. And uh, by the axis and y. Okay. They just they just give this bounded by the axis. Y, okay, try to draw this, and y0, x is, x0, y is 1 and negative 1, okay. so for sure this, okay. so first quarter means just here, okay, so this is 0, this is 1, so you can use type, this is what, 1, right? So you can use type 2 or type 1. So you see which one is easy. Both is will be easy. Okay. I think, yeah, both both will be easy. Lah. So, this, yes. Okay. So like this, and then you just choose. Okay. Remember, for this, let's say I choose type, uh, type 2. So you have to put from here to here, right? For this, this is y squared equals to 1 minus x. So type 2 means uh, cut at y. You should put y to something, right? Inside. I mean, sorry. If type 2 means uh, cut at y and x. So x, you have to put x to something. So x will be 1 minus y squared. If type 1, I have to choose from here to here. So type 1 means dx here dy so y must equal something inside this is x so if i want to put y something y here is zero okay y here is you have to put square root one minus x only not minus because this is in the first quadrant although y squared equals to one minus x y is square root one minus x plus minus but you have to choose one minus x Understand? This. Okay. So type 2 will be more easier. Lah. For the limit. You don't need to worry about the plus minus. So. Okay. 
but some of you maybe feel easy with type one. Okay. Any question for this? Remember, not always zero. Okay. We have to see the region. Any question? Okay, we try to do this. Evaluate the integral by the reversing order of the integration. Okay. So this is one of the famous question because you cannot solve by using any app. So you have to do by yourself. So see here why is from is from is from x is the lower limit and this is the high limit s is from 0 to 1 so which means you have y equals to x then you have y equals to 1 and then x equals to 0 here which is here x equals to 1. So when x equals to 1, so when x is here. So which one? y equals to 1. y equals to x. x equals to 0. x equals to 1. So which is here. Okay. Done. Then. Then uh, dy dx is which type? Type one or type two? Hmm? Type one or type two? One. So they want reversing order. So which means type two? So type two means dy out inside, dx inside. The y is from this is zero, x one y one, one, zero to one, and then your x is from here x is zero, and this x will be y. This you can use substitution, u equals to y squared. Is it? How you want to solve this? Okay. See this? <coughs> zero to one. Zero. Zero to one. Oh, it is dx first, right? Dx first. So you just focus on this. Sorry. No need to use substitution. If you integrate with respect to dx first, y is constant. Okay? So the solution is here. But here maybe you have to use. Yes. You have to use substitution. So remember, we cover back whatever you have learned in EM1. Okay. Okay. Okay, for this. It is easy to integrate dy dx to, uh, I mean, integration e y squared respect to dy. Is it easy? How do you feel? Do you feel easy to integrate directly? All right. So that's why you have to automatically you have to reverse the order. So that's why you have to sketch first. So your y is x over 2, which means your x equals to 2y. And then you have y equals to 2, x equals to 0, x equals to 4. So if I have to change the order, okay, x equals to 2y, something like this. y equals to 2, x of 0 is here. 
and x equals to 4. If I put y equals to x is 4. So it's this one. 4. y equals to 2 here. So this is the region. Okay, the one dy dx, dy dx is that one. You have to type, you have to use type two. Type two means uh, dy here, zero to two. Dx here, x must be equal to zero here, and x here must be equal to two y. Now it's easy to integrate. Check. So you must be very fast on determining the limit, and the limit must be correct. So this is the main thing. Okay. 0 to so still impossible and 0 to 2 y 0 to 2 okay understand is it okay any question and then I just leave it to you to solve this remember integrate inside first and then put the limit and then integrate outside. Okay. Okay, we see the this example. Change the order of integration. So this is type two, uh, the one type one. So x is zero, x equals to one, y equals to, sorry, y equals to zero, and y equals to one from the question. Your x is from y, or y equals to x over two, and you have x equals to two. So when you do sketch, this is x y zero is here y equals to one it is here the x equals to two y and x equals to two so when i put x equals to two y equals to one it is here now. Okay. so you have we have y zero y equals to one x equals to 2y and x equals to 2. So this is more than this and this is the region. Remember, the region should be correct. So you cannot choose the this region because the intersection it is more here. We have more lines here. So they have they want to change the order. This is type 2 because y is cut at y. So cut at x means you have to cut here. So so cut at that means your x is from two. So y must be from zero. From here, y is x over two. Okay, whatever function here is cos x squared. Ten. Okay. Zero to two, zero to x over two. Okay. Any question? So I think you already exhausted, right? You want to continue this? Or you want to study this first? Study first. Okay. So I think I have to stop here. So maybe next week. Next week, 21 is your test. But so next week, next class. Oh, I have to make another extra class. Just want to uh, give you plagiarism form. And I want to explain you about the guidelines. Okay, I don't know the, about the guidelines. Today, our lecturer will be meeting. So since our next class will be on Wednesday, 
Wednesday night will be your test. So we see how, okay? If the morning, we have class on Wednesday, what time? Okay, so maybe earlier or on the Wednesday, I will discuss about the guideline and how you want to submit. Maybe we have part one, part two, maybe. Okay, let me show you like this, maybe like this, but I do not confirm yet, I do not confirm yet. So I just uh, give you roughly, Maybe you have part one and part two. Okay. And then formula will be given in the group. Okay. okay. So maybe something like this. Part one will be three questions. Part two will be another three. I don't know. I don't know the question yet because the question will not form yet. Okay. So maybe, but your in your case, maybe one and a half hour. Okay, and then if you submit this, uh, when you submit this part one, you cannot do part two. When you do part, when you submit part two, you cannot amend the part one. Okay, the, this question will be released after you have submitted this. Okay, so maybe eight twenty five the question will be released, and then after you have upload eight twenty, I will give another part two. So marks will be deducted for late submission. One mark will be written for every two minutes late. Okay. And then the quizzes are open book. Open book means my slide and my video only. Okay. And the book that you have bought from the Yasa Max. So you cannot open any browser application. You cannot book, book, uh, open any other book other than book that we recommended. Uh, this is the infographic how you submit. Maybe I will use e-learning because all of you want e-learning. But I will prepare the Google form also. Um, do you have any question that you want to ask? Maybe we'll start 8.30 p.m. Since uh, they are open fast at uh, 7. Some of places, they open fast very late. Any question? But this is not... Um, because this is for other subject, not your subject. So, uh, maybe the day after tomorrow, I will know how I want to conduct the test and how you will submit the answer sheet. Any question? No. Okay, so I will stop here, take rest and study back whatever you learned today.